shown is an SP900 with remote controller attached to a Ludlum meter with a pancake probe. Attach short cable to the high voltage input. Attach the SP900 probe pack and Velcro to the side of the meter. Use a standard coax cable to connect any probe. In this case, a pancake probe is used as a dummy prop. Energize the meter, which energizes the probe pack. Turn on the remote controller and dial in the reading that you want to see on the meter. The meter will track the output control, increasing with clock clockwise rotation to any specific level, and will track decreasing to any specific indication with counterclockwise rotation. In certain instances, it's desirable to use the bottom control to set a background reading and the top control a contamination reading, and simply switch between the two using a push button. Shown is a fully simulated meter. This is a simulation of an ion chamber. It's been switched to its lowest range. The remote controller on and note the meter tracking the output control mode. We have the ability to set a beta factor. In this case, it's set to two. When the window is open, the reading increases by a factor of two. When it closes, the reading decreases to its original setting that was existed on the remote controller. The SD900 simulated alarming dosimeter works in conjunction with this system. Note the rate alarm as we hit the rate alarm set point and as we back away from it, it extinguishes. We hit it again and then the exposure rate is set so that we hit the dose alarm in a short period of time. Note the on-off status and the retention status of the alarm.